Band of Pirates. sure can take it. You can dish it out, too. I got a hundred yen on it. You sure you can spare it from your lady friend? Salute Terry, my boy? Yeah, with the inflation here, I've got enough for a postage stamp. <laughs> what have we here, Madam Butterfly? More like Madam X. Well, maybe she's in trouble. Let's follow. Easy, Romeo. That kind of bait's the oldest in the world. She could lead you up a dark alley into a fractured skull. Maybe you're right, but she didn't look like the type. They never do. Come on, let's hit the sack. Tomorrow's another fly day. Oh, sorry, little one. You can ride Air Cafe for yen, pesos, piastres, or the American buck, but nothing on the cup. No exception. But I would pay you when we landed. Believe me. I believe you, little one, but ticket office is in Tencent, not Tay Ling. Morning, Chops. Lee and Charles reporting. Ready, willing, and if no planes are disabled, able. So sorry. Can do nothing for you. What's up? A freeloader. Cannot help you. Say, aren't you the chick was outside the arena last night? What's your problem? Maybe your hot shot can help. Scatter boy, you've got some cloud hopping to do. Ladies in distress are my specialty. Terry, this Cambridge wolf is holding up Air Cafe. Is she in trouble, Chops? Look, fly boys, don't get interested. A woman spells trouble. It will give you a headache. Trouble may be a headache, but it's never a bore. Hey, well spoken, Terry, my boy. Uh, what kind of pigeon speak em? Uh, pitch em woo? Uh, dance em? Uh, have em fun? I beg your pardon. What? I did not come to be insulted. Oh, please forgive my friend. No disrespect was meant. I did not come for charity. I'm sure of that. And if you tell us your story, we'll be glad to listen. Terry, I... The lady you. has the floor. My name is Chi Lu, from the village of Tay Ling. For generations, my people tilled the land, but they cannot get out of debt. 
One year ago, the villagers collect their earnings to send Kim to say to the city to, to make enough money to buy them out of bondage. It's Kim. Kim Tusei. China boy, the heavyweight, the one we saw fight last night. Yeah. He was the largest and most powerful of the villagers. But he does not come back. And so I have come for him. He is my betrothed. I see. Well, Kim has a handy pair of hands. We've seen him in action. Every Friday night when we're not in assignment. He's quite a drawing card in these parts. Should have a fistful of dough. He has no money. That is why I came here, to try to arrange for our flight back together to the province. When you say he has no money, you mean he spent it all? No, he has not received money. He says it is being held in trust for him by the manager of the arena. He has failed in his mission. Therefore, he has lost face and will not return to Tailing. Granted, is heartbreaking story, but Air Cathay is flying service, not heart clinic. Wait a minute, Char. There must be some mistake, Chi Lu. But uh, if it'll make you feel any better, we'll uh, have a talk with Kim and the owner of the arena. One moment. You two are on assignment. Just drumming up business for you, Chops. Two tickets for Chi Lu and her boyfriend. Coming up. My apologies, Chi Lu, and those of our illustrious employers. One moment, Fly Boys. You can't. <sighs> Well, I'll be a Chaybird's uncle. Go away. Go away. Please, Kim. These are friends. They want to help. Kim have no friend. Go away. He said he signed a contract with Tate. What did it say? Cannot read English. He would not know. Where did you learn to speak English so well? Missionary school. Kim doesn't want to fight anymore and wants to go home. No one can stop him. But this document he has signed, does it not bind him? Well, I can't tell yet. At any rate, he seems to have some money coming to him. I'm sure Tate will explain everything. Yeah, we're steady customers at ringside. He'll give us the straight answers. I'm very grateful. We'll let you know what the score is. Come on, John. We've got a date with Tate. to know about the China boy, is that it? Ah, uh, he's a comer. I've seen a blooming lot of them in the day, I have. And he... Roll with a punch, laddie! Uh, by the way, who's she? Uh, she's, uh, part of the organization. But, uh, <clears throat> about the China boy. We're friends of Kim's. He's worried. That worries us. Mm -hmm. No, that's distressing. Can't have that, can we? Now, uh, what's troubling the lad? I think he'd like to go home, Mr. Tate. Can he? Well, now, why should he want to do that? He can whip his weight in wildcats. He doesn't want to fight wildcats, but he's broke, and we can't figure that. We've been watching him for a year of Fridays, and he's drawn a full house every time. Ah. So that's it. You're taking over his management, and you're wanting to count him, huh? No, no, we're not taking over, but you're right in the last half. Well, now, that is distressing. Now, you're a couple of fine, upstanding lads. I'd be proud to call you me on. Kenny? And you what, lad? Quit, as of now. Take his things and go home. Well, now, uh, you've touched upon a soft point. Kim has made a lot of money for me. I don't deny it. But he's cost a lot. Grooming a fighter is a ticklish investment. Take these two, these two gladiators here. <laughs> Willing they are to beat each other's brains out, but uh, no moxie. No, no. Roll with the punch, laddie. There's the China boys cost a lot. Yeah, then he must have made a lot. Are we stepping out of line, Mr. Tate? That you are, lad. But I like a man who who takes an interest in his fellow man, just as I've taken an interest in, in, in the China boy. We're going on tour, you know. Tour? Aye, stateside. Frisco, Seattle, Los Angeles. That I don't dig. It's all arranged. 
on six months' visa. Kim is going to fight for the Chinese Orphans Fund. You mean you're going to match him against fighters in the States? Precisely that, lad. Chinese heavyweight. American public will acclaim him. Hey, an Oriental fighter. Performing for a noble cause. It's a matchless combination, gentlemen. Kim didn't mention that. I have a contract. He'll collect a tidy sum from the trip, and after that... Well, his brains will be scattered. It's all perfectly legal, gentlemen. Properly notified and cleared through counsel. Yeah, I can bet on that. But you can't match him against trained, experienced fighters. Here in Tanzania, he's a flash, but in the States, he'd be a babe in the ring. A matter of opinion, gentlemen. And a difference of same makes horse races. Will that be all? I don't think so, Mr. Tate. He can't quit. He's got to go stateside and he's broke. That contract has an odor. And it ain't chlorophyll. Well, now, now, easy. Easy, lads. Your implied accusation could get you into hot water. Dirty hot water? Well, now, uh, <clears throat> now, if, uh, if you two lads would uh, I'd like to muscle in on a little piece of him, could make some arrangements. Now I know something's wrong. You wouldn't try to buy us off, there wasn't. We'll do a little checking to that contract, Mr. Tate. You have more than me to deal with, laddie. Oh, syndicate talk, huh? I have a partner. You may resent your interference with less grace than myself. Roll, laddie, roll! I see. The muscle behind the brains. We can put this on the record. We may scare, but we don't run. Say, I like that theory. Repeat, Mr. Tate. We may scare, but we don't run. You'll hear from us. Repeat, Mr. Tate. You'll hear from us. No, lads. You'll hear from us. Roll, laddie. Roll with the punch. Cyclones hit me with very large muscles. How long have I been out? I just got off a flight. Chilu came here about an hour ago and no one answered, so she looked me up at the field. Kim is missing. What? I am unable to find him since early this morning. His room, too, has been invaded. Looks like Tate has declared war. He wouldn't go to this much trouble to scare us off. We weren't on to him. Should we not go to the police? With what? I don't know who the guerrillas were. Tate has a contract with Kim. He's got himself very nicely covered with a lot of legal mumbo-jumbo. And he's a bigger man in town than we are. I know big people, too. Very important people. Name ten. One. Chopstick. He's a local big. We've been around Tansan for years. He would know a thing or two about Tate. Can you trust him? With reservations, yes. Under certain conditions, mostly money, no. We don't have much choice. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I told you, Galahads, never tilt lances at big black dragons, the age of chivalry. Never is... mind the editorial chops. We need help. Why come to me? I'm just a hard-working businessman with a shoestring airline. Look, chops, Tate's a fixture in this town, and so are you. What do you know about him? Incriminating question. So incriminate. You don't have the goons up and down the China coast. Look, fly voice, I'm just a hard-working businessman with, with a shoestring, shoestring airline. airline. We, we know, know we, we work, work for you, you. remember? Yeah. Tate is a good customer. He flies thither and yon. When he does so, he uses Air Cafe. I can say no more. I will not antagonize the trade. Take him, ethics. But what about Kim? He will be hurt. He's the prize package. They may keep him under cover, but they will not hurt him. So you won't help, eh? Cannot help. I've got it. The visa. The six months work permit in the States. Right. We'll see the consul. One moment. What are you two trying to do? Create international incident? We got a hunch about a certain phony contract, about a certain phony cause. I just don't like to see my flyboys get diced up. You'll never miss his chops. We're only a couple of hard-working pilots for a shoestring airline. <laughs> you don't have that chops, huh? Hey! And so?
So our village awaits him, sir. But now Kim is gone. If Kim feels he's lost face through the failure of his mission, he might have disappeared of his own free will. Kim is not a coward. No, I've seen him in action. Put up a very good show. I have contacted Mr. Tate, but he professes ignorance. If Kim had disappeared, Tate would be worried. He'd be one to contact you and the police. I've checked Mr. Tate very carefully in recommending to the American Embassy at the Capitol that his proposed tour was worthwhile. It would be embarrassing if it were not. Kim doesn't want to go to the States, sir. I've seen his contract. It's perfectly legal. The contract, yes. But the intent, no. He didn't know what he was signing. He can't read English. We've every reason to believe he was coerced into this. This could be very ugly. Involuntary servitude. Please help us find him. I think this is a matter for the police. Ah, yes. Kate was due to... This is very interesting. What is it, sir? He's scheduled to leave today. Today? That would tie in with Kim's disappearance. The question is, how would he get out of Tansan? Well, they couldn't go by car. The roads are terrible. Couldn't make time like that. The train only stops once a week in Tansan. The last one was two days ago. Either by boat or plane, then. Now, if I wanted to keep a big hulk of a guy from jumping my company and make fast time, I'd get him up in the sky. Air Cafe. I'll ah. phone the embassies and put a hold on their visas until this matter's cleared up. Oh, thank you, sir. We'll go back to the field and check in all the flights. We'll keep in touch with you, sir. Good. American Embassy. What gives with hurricane entry? Ready, flight three. Ready, flight three. Is Tate on any of these flights today? Look, Flyboy, you have a 24-hour pass. Get some rest. Watch this flight at 1 a.m. It's a flight. Sometimes passengers, sometimes freight. Air Cafe flies what it can, when it can. I called Tate at his apartment at the arena. No answer. How you doing with Chops? Our friend's acting darn peculiar about Tate. Mm -hmm. We believe Chi Lu. The consul does. Why don't you? I was born in one piece. I like to stay that way. Question, Chops. Knowing you have a finger in every shady pie on the China coast, you must know something about a sinister character like Tate. Answer, Terry. None of your business. Just a poor old businessman on a shoestring. Someday it's gonna knot around your throat. You college boys are so smart. What about that flight at one o'clock? It's listed as a passenger party for cameras. Who's cameras? Yeah, and who flies them? All the other pilots are out. That leaves Chaz and myself. One more question and you're fired. Could Camrose beat Tate? You're fired. Me too? You too. The last time, Chops, we appeal to your better nature. That takes unfair advantage. Oh. Well then, seeing as how we no longer work here, we're not inhibited. Meaning? Meaning that you're our prisoner until Camrose shows up. Uh-uh, behave yourself, or we'll tie up with your own money belt. Look, gents, what makes you think Camrose is Tate? We think he is. We hope he is. Unless you tell us different. Uh, besides which, we happen to know he's leaving town today. But the big question is, exactly when? He could take a boat. Now, he could, but Chi Lu's alerted the harbor patrol. So, we just sit tight. Check watches. Derek. Gotcha. Mr. Camrose, I presume. Uh, where is the rest of your organization? Well, now, fancy meeting you here, but then it's no coincidence, is it? You work here. Which is uh, our pilot shop? Neither. One of the others will be here any moment. What's the matter with Kim? He doesn't look very enthusiastic about the trip. Uh, uh it is his first flight, bit of a nervous stomach. We're ready, Chops. You're not going anywhere, Mr. Tate. There's no plane ready for you. What's he talking about, Chops? You don't hear a plane being warmed up, do you? We've talked to the ground crew. There's nothing in flight condition out there. You're beginning to annoy me, pilot. What about it, Chops? What are these boys pulling? Your field here, you know. This is your field. Strong arm stuff, Tate. They've kept me covered all night. Yeah. 
We've had a bit of experience along that line ourselves. Mata? Taurus! <laughs> business, busting up my establishment. Kim, he's gone. Look at the damage, a year's profit. Since you lads have taken an interest in the plans, you'll have to become part of them. Chops, take the mic and order a plane. I can't wait for the other pilot. The Bobsy twins will fly us. Now then, where's Kim? He can't be far. Talk! Talk! <coughs> for the last time, I'm asking you. If you don't, talk! Let them go. Chop, shut up. Gee, Chop. You shut up, too. Help Kim out. I shoved him under the desk. But I don't understand. Will you? I don't mind shrewdness, Tate. But hopping a guy up, that's worse than bopping him one. That's one game even Chops will not play. Not so fast. You're in on this, too. You own half the China part. You're Tate's partner, Chops? I've uh, changed my mind about the contract. It's all double talk. You want to fight me in court? Kim. Ah, the gendarmes. Oh, my darling. Your pigeons, gents. How is big boy doing? Oh, he'll be all right. Drugs wearing off now. Lie back, Kim. Everything's all right now. All peaches and cream. Or should I say lettuce? <whistles> Here's your back winning, spider boy. There's enough there to huck a dozen villages. Uh, this time, I will keep it in trust. How did you manage to get all that from Tate? His position is less than enviable. Illegal contract, use of drugs, coercion, misrepresentation, enough counts of fraud to darken his days at hard labor. As his partner, aren't you liable as well? I merely leased the arena to him. I had an automatic cut of each fighter. I have nothing to do with contracts. You are a kind and generous man. Then, uh, how about a honeymoon flight for Chi Lu and Kim back to the province on Air Cathay? Nix, Air Cathay is for rent, but not for free. They want to fly, they pay the same as everyone else. I'm just a poor, hard-working businessman with a shoestring airline. airline. Mm -hmm. Chops, I think you'd sell your own right arm to the highest bidder if you Only thought. for money, chum. Only for money. Quiet, coming, Bob. Quiet. Chops is composing a literary masterpiece. Joy Kim. What did he say, Terry? Can you understand his dialect? He said, see you again. Ho Pung Yao. When illustrious friends. Tang Hop. Gather for. Tengu Jai. Further exciting adventures of. Further exciting adventures of. Terry and, and the Pirates. Be with us again the next time we take off with Terry and the Pirates in another exciting high altitude adventure.